Hey guys, so I am going to go ahead and tell you how much I love this product and I truly do love this product. I think it's good. Uh, there's guaranteed value, which I love. I think all products should have some type of guaranteed value and it looks good. So I looked, I crunched the numbers and yes, some decks are more valuable than other decks, but generally speaking, it looks good meaning you are going to get your money's worth. And even so, if you bought two of these and you played against each other, probably worth your $60, right? Um, I don't think you will feel bad about buying it. And EDH truly is a format that is more enjoyed by Paper Magic than I think on, on online. I did play EDH on Magic Online and I never thought it was that fun. Um, I think EDH Magic Online Part of it is the player base. Like when I'm playing EDH, I don't want to take it too seriously. Like I don't want to play against a grinder. If I'm playing standard, fine. I get it. Standard, you know, everyone's grinding. Everyone's trying to get that EV, right? Or make that great play or whatever. But for me, when I play EDH, the last thing I want to worry about is, you know, a... Star City Games grinder joining my game and playing against me and just playing this rampant deck to beat me down. EDH should be more fun. And the beauty behind EDH, in my opinion, is the fact that even if you had the best deck and everyone knows that you have the best deck, and especially your play group, they're going to go after you hard. Especially if you're, you, if you're the only one playing like an unfair combo and they know that you're playing that very distasteful unfair combo they'll come after you and there's enough of them to win so it's kind of interesting right uh in my edh player group is mostly doctors and lawyers and rich people and everyone plays mono blue <laughs> and then and then we have fun decks so everyone agrees that hey we're going to take this seriously and we'll play mono blue and everyone has almost the same deck list occasionally people change up their same deck list but you're running the same type of blue combos to go infinite then we have our fun wacky decks which is not meant to be competitive and depending on the mood and how um, much beer people have had you know it's one of the two and I like both I will show you my EDH deck uh, that's the one thing that I did not sell Again, there is some confusion. Oh, why are you selling and why are you buying? It's I'm buying cheap and I'm selling high. You like is that really difficult for people to understand? Like right now cards are low, so it may be time to consider to buy them or wait a little longer. But when cards are high, I do not want to buy and I think it's a bad deal. So buy when it's low, sell when it's high. Do not buy in 2018, 2019 where magic cards were at the highest price point ever. I think Underground Sea was what, 600, 800 buy list at that point in time? That's insane. That is not the time to buy. That is the time to sell. Anyway, I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, I love it. Uh, what can I tell you about how much I love uh, the commander sets? I always buy one of each, and then like if there's an interesting one that I just want a dupe of, then I'll buy. I don't go like ham at them. Now my Walmart distributor would allow me to buy a bunch of them. It's just that I don't really see. Uh, to be quite honest, I don't see the point in buying a bunch of them. I just like to play with them. It's one of the only products in Magic the Gathering that I just like playing with. And I don't think of it as any type of investment. I just open it and then put it and add the pieces to my deck. Or I keep... The only reason I would buy two is if I want to keep one completely together. But I don't buy it to keep them sealed and resell. I, don't, I think that's kind of defeats the point of this product. But yeah, the product has a lot of value. It's always had a lot of value because there's so many just random old cards that haven't like, what was that? Fluctuator, the cycling card spiked to $25 and then got reprinted. And the announcement of the reprint came like right there. I have a lot of fluctuators, right? So like 
I should be unhappy because I'm like, oh, and it's not because I speculated on them. I have just tons of Urza Saga bulk. In Fluxurator, it was an Urza Saga bulk back in the day. So I just have probably eight or nine copies. Lifeline was a bulk card and it turned out I got a bunch of them. So I was uh, pleasantly surprised, right? I was like, oh, that's a uh, Lifeline right here. Huh? Nice, nice. Lifeline. So back to why Commander is a great product. I think it's just the price tag. The price tag makes sense to me. I don't, do not see, like if you had to buy Pharos Beyond Death or this, it's a no-brainer. This, like one of these $30 decks has more value than a booster box of Pharos Beyond Death. Standard box. It just does. And yes, the secondary market on a lot of these cards will go down, but that's true for any, that's true for like rotation, right? At least these don't kind of rotate out. They'll just be, they're meant for EDHs and there's not a time limit. It's not like you can overcook them, for instance. I love it. I do truly believe this is one of the better products that Wizard of the Coast makes. And the Challenger deck, uh... I don't know. I have something to say about the Challenger deck a little later, but this particular product, I don't really have anything bad to say. Um, if you can buy it, you can afford it. It's going to give you, it gives you a very good bang for your dollar, which is not true for every product. I think there's plenty of products out there that are just very sketchy, and I don't, you know, I get, I get people like to gamble, right? But when you gamble and you lose seventy-five percent of your value. That's not gambling. That's just being dumb, right? Like gambling, like even at a blackjack, I think the house has a slight edge of 51% or something like that. Playing blackjack. I think someone did a video of like opening uh, booster packs versus uh, scratch cards and the scratch card was more profitable. <laughs> and it was like, oh, I see what's going on. Um, yeah, so that's my opinion. I think at the end of the day, this is a very good set. I do like it, and I will be buying it. I probably, you know, as I grow a little older, I just like having them sealed to play against each other because the power level of, they're not very strong decks compared to like, you know, a $10,000 magic deck, right, for ed but I like them because they're creative and they do a good job working with each other and they do a good job highlighting that particular commander. So I remember when the first commander decks came in and actually I wasn't a fan of them and uh, the place in Richmond, it's something, it's still open today. I just uh, researched Richmond, Virginia. It's still open. Uh, one Eye Jacks. So if you're from Richmond, Virginia, you probably know that store. I went to One Eye Jacks and they had some damaged product and they were going to ship it back and then they had it on discount and that's how i got clear of the vast now the cards in it were perfectly good shape the box was damaged like it was really really damaged and uh, to the point that they couldn't sell it they were going to ship it back to get new copies but then the owner was really nice and it was actually a female owner i'm pretty sure uh she was really nice and she sold it to me for like half off and I bought all of them there uh, the only one at the time that I couldn't get was the one with uh scavenging ooze that one they were selling for like way above msrp and they were reducing the other ones commander decks have always largely been good value now there was that one commander deck uh that year where it was a really bad year it was pretty recent it was a really bad year they printed a lot of stuff like a lot, a lot of stuff. I can't remember what year that was, but that was because A, the deck sucked, and B, they printed too much of it. They can print a bunch of this and it won't suck because the deck itself is good. It's a good deck. Um, I think it's one of the better products they make every year and it's very consistent. And the thing is about this particular product I don't see anything wrong with it. It gives you guaranteed value and typically the guaranteed value is slightly higher than the MSRP or you know what you would be paying online and you can get it cheap and this is a great way to support your local game store without 
dumping money into like a losing pro- opening booster packs obviously you lose money people will know that but not to the extent that we've uh, opening booster packs when i've been i was younger we lost money and we knew we would lose money okay we knew we would lose money and we still did it anyway but no one could fathom the type of loss you would be receiving right now it's too much like to buy a box for a hundred bucks and get twenty five dollars in buy list is just too much. Uh, you, you just can't do it. Um, but I do love this set and I do love the reprints in it. So I think it's definitely a buy for me. Hi guys. <laughs>